in the slichos that we said this morning for the tenth of Teves, we mentioned that there are three calamities which we recall on this day: the eighth, the ninth, and the tenth of Teves. What are these three calamities? On the eighth, we were forced to translate the Torah into Greek. On the ninth, that was the day of the death of Ezra Hasofer, the scribe, who was the leader of the, if we'll call it, revival of the Jewish people and the rebuilding of the second temple. And the tenth, which is the anniversary of the siege on Yerushalayim. Each one of these deserves a day of fast by itself. It is too difficult to fast three days in a row, and therefore the Chachamim decreed there would be one day of fasting to include all of these, including, as we will in a few moments say, another concept on this day. What's so wrong with the Torah being translated into Greek? Well, rather than Greek being able to go out to the entire world, it also became an exit for some of the Jewish people. Once they learned the Greek, they left the folds of the Jewish people. But as we've mentioned before, Greek is considered beautiful. The culture of Greece is afforded great honor in the Torah. That Greece and beauty is something important, but it, we have to know how it is to be used. The death of the tzaddik, of Ezra the Sofer, of course, we can understand why that is a reason for fasting. And the siege on Yerushalayim, which led to the downfall of the temple and the destruction of the city and the exile of the people from it, we certainly understand the calamity that took place there. Rav Hutner said a very interesting thing. That is, the story of the Septuagint, of the translation of the Greek, was that he took 70 rabbis, put them into 70 chambers, and said, I want you to translate the Torah into Greek. This, we know from the Gemara, that this is what took place. Miraculously, they all came up with the exact same translation. And even when it came to certain words that they had to translate differently so as not to create confusion, between the Hebrew and the translation, they came up with the exact same translation, a miraculous thing that took place. So Rav Hutner said, that was not miraculous, that 70 rabbis in 70 different rooms said the same thing. What was miraculous would be had they been in the same room and all 70 rabbis said the same thing. When they were separate, of course they would say the same thing. One of the most famous things and moving things that I heard from my teacher, Rabbi Soloveitchik, was that, as we conclude in one of the slichos for the day, Mi O God, we pray that you should transfer this day from <coughs> sadness, and that change to relief the fast of the fifth month, that is of Tisha B'av, the fast of the fourth month, that is the fast of Tammuz, and the fast of the tenth month, that is this fast of Teves. And this is based on a Pasuk, a verse in Zechariah. So if you can think to yourself what is happening over here, God tells the prophets that these days, which are fast days established by the rabbis, will change into days of joy and celebration. Again, God is coming and discussing with a human being the fast day which was established by other human beings. That is, God signifying that there is truth to these words and actions being done by the Chachamim. And our prayer is, of course, that it should be changed to that day. This is also known as Yom HaKadosh HaKlali, that those who did not know the day of the death of their relatives during the Shoah, during the Holocaust, keep this day as a yard site and say Kaddish on this day. So to everyone we wish a, a good day and of course a good and healthy and prosperous year. We conclude with the Kaddish Rabbanon, Rabbi Hanani ben Akash Omer, Ratz Kaddish Baruch Hu Lezalchus Es Yisrael, Lefik Al Chirbalem Tor Mitzvah Shneemar, Adon Ech Veitzman Sitko Yagdil Tor Avi Adir. Is the